In today's video, we want to do a quick analysis on the different currency pairs, gold, indices, and so on, so that you can have a good um, directional bias and a good uh, trading strategy going forward and how to trade next week. So we're going to analyze based on the opening price strategy. So I'm going to start with gold. Now on gold, yeah, you can see on the monthly time frame, we rejected from this level. And after that, we traded above. We closed above the resistance here. And also, we retest it. And currently, we created a fresh resistance where price, price is finding it difficult to trade above. So what happened in the month of February is that market came up in here. But currently we are trading low all right so the monthly right now do not give us any insight in the intraday structure of the market so what the monthly is simply telling us is that the market is bullish but are you going to depend on the monthly time frame as a day trader the answer is no we only use the monthly time frame to gauge and help in giving a proper analysis when it comes to doing multi time frame analysis so since we know that the monthly time frame is still bullish and then the month has not ended so we cannot conclude currently on this but what we can conclude is that we are rejecting of this level which can serve as a strong resistance so from there you can see that level was in line with the weekly level here and when price got there what happened it traded lower we took these trades in the VIP room. Okay. We took this trade. Price traded lower. So henceforth, this is what is happening right now on the weekly time frame. Price moved from here and then rejected from this zone right here. So right now, what I can see is this. We have a fresh weekly level where price rejected from and we close here and then we also have a fresh weekly support okay we don't only have that we have um, another one here so i'm going to place these three lines here this will guide me in knowing where to take my trades because with the opening price strategy, you don't just take your trade randomly. Okay, for example, since I know that this market is bullish overall, then I just open a trade right here. It won't work that way because you may not be able to hold on to this drawdown. What if price decide to come back down to test this? Or decide to test this? How will your mind cope with that drawdown? So what the opening price strategy helps is that it helps you balance your psychology because when you enter the price at the best price you have little drawdown to worry about so having seen this rejection from this level here we then go to the daily time frame so on the daily time frame i have this level to contend with we have uh, a resistance here from the opening price. Okay. So for me, if I want to join the bullish trade, I'll wait for price to get to this zone. So this is where I'll be looking for bullish trades. So we push down and then we push higher. So this is my setup for the, for next week. If price comes back in here, I'll be looking to take a bullish trade. Now remember, the trade I'll, I'll be taking from here will be an intraday trade. All right. It will be an intraday trade until we have a full swing structure set up for me. All right. So right now, all the trades we have been taking so far has been intraday. Okay. We took a, a trade somewhere here. This very trade. Um, I think I'd, I'm going to do a kind of, um, trade breakdown starting from next week you see a lot of trade breakdown so that to help you improve your win rate 
when it comes to trading the forex market so this is what i'm looking at on euro usd i'm sorry this is what i'm looking at on gold okay when price comes to the 2026 mark i'll be looking for a way to buy this market so let's take a look at pounds now on pounds you can also see that we started this bullish move from this rejection and then we push higher so i'm going to place the highest monthly resistance there and i don't know if this level rejected from there okay there was no rejection so that is a good one so we have a fresh level there and currently also we are currently rejecting from this opening price on the monthly okay we are currently rejecting on this opening price on the monthly time frame what is it telling us it's telling us that probably we might continue pushing higher all right but the monthly alone will not give you that your precise um direction okay because it monthly the, the market takes too long to complete like in this case we have five days left to complete the month so on that note we go to your weekly so what i did was simply to mark out my opening prices on the monthly time frame so on the weekly time frame we got this rejection okay we got this rejection price traded up to this level price traded up to this level and we rejected all right so from the lower time frame now from the daily we are going to know if we are to continue going higher or not okay so going to the daily on the daily time frame here yeah, this was a trade that was expecting price to come to this level but price did not get there so i didn't take this trade let me take off this so on the daily the daily is bullish so if price comes back to this level i'll be looking for a way to to buy okay i'll be looking for a way to buy at the daily opening prices okay i'll be looking for a way to buy because the let me see this they do have a rejection i think there's a rejection there okay so remember your goal here is to trade intraday not swing we are taking a trade and you're closing it that same day okay once the objective is met so looking at the forward to say i'll still be bullish so on this note if price comes to this zone and also this zone these are areas where i'll be looking for bullish trades okay this first one is for my scalping opportunities this will be for my intraday okay so because this level is stronger than this level you want to know more about this you can join my mentorship link is in the description okay and you learn more and become a profitable trader so that is that on um, pounds usd let's take a look at usd card on usd card monthly time frame you can see that the monthly rejected there and then rallied up where do we rally it up to to that opening price right here okay and currently we have five days to go for this market to close if it closes below that that might give us a sign that market might be willing to go lower to test this opening price before pushing okay don't worry about the other lines i'm going to break them down as we go to the lower time frames all right so on the weekly on the weekly level we have price push up from here let me take off this So the the recent rejection was done here. 
this is the weekly level okay this is the weekly level we got a weekly rejection here okay and then we also created a fresh weekly push to the upside from this support all right so i'm going to take off this old weekly level which we can see price respected that level multiple times and currently price has not even traded above that okay so why i'm taking it off is because we have multiple touches this time around i don't think price might reject from there but i'll be keeping an eye on that but for the weekly analysis here i will take it off to have a clearer picture and a cleaner chart all right so from here let's head to the daily now the daily time frame this was an entry i didn't take this trade because i wasn't too active this week i only took some couple of trades you just need a, a trade or two and you have a profitable week okay so i'll be tra taking this like this price moving from here this is our first obstacle this is the last obstacle so we are kind, we are kind of bullish on this pair so my setup my setup will be if price gets can give me a pullback to this level give me a pullback to this level and then give me a pullback to this level okay now because the market is bullish doesn't mean you should just take a buy from here remember you don't do that you simply wait if price does not come to their level don't engage in the market so we're expecting price to trade into this zone then from there we can get a reaction something like this okay and then we get a reaction from it remember we are trading the reaction we you know we predict the reaction that price is going to react here and when it does we make money okay we don't trade after the reaction we trade anticipating the reaction from the opening price that is the key there now looking at japanese yen most times the japanese yen so far have not been giving me what i wanted so that's why i've stayed off the japanese yen because it has not been it has not traded to my levels simple as that okay so let's start on this with the weekly time frame okay we have been bullish from here okay so the destination is here this is where we expect price to trade up to so we still have some couple of pips to ride price to this level okay we can also confirm a rejection from here so on the daily we focus on the bullish market okay we focus on the bullish move so what i can see is this i have a fresh level here this is the best level to join this party okay but within a lower time frame in the four hour you can look for a way to scalp after a pull back to this level here you can look for a way to scalp my price is getting here in and out this will be the obstacle okay so we are buying here you are taking your profit the first profit will be taken off here because this is the reversal opening price so we have a simple a very short range where we expect price to trade within okay so usd japanese yen is like this so this is what we are we are still bullish on this pair the best area to continue your bullish price will be here okay but this one's the assembly within your scalping capacity so looking at the nas 100 this pair has been bullish my <laughs> my only regret was why did i close my trade immediately we passed the all-time high because price keep pushing higher i took a trade there uh, which I'm going to do the breakdown so that you see my reasoning why I took that trade. Okay. And then <laughs> currently I'm just wondering why did I take all my profit? Because most times I don't take all profits. So 
we reject all of this i spoke about this during the vip and i hope they caught the trade if i was um less busy if i'm sitting on my chat on this particular day i would have caught this trade okay because um you know because i'm a full-time trader doesn't mean i sit on my decks full-time there are other things that life brings to you that will make you, you know you all know what i mean you guys are traders so no one sit 24 hours on their chat except if they don't have any serious responsibility to carry on okay so we have this rejection we still focus on the bullish trade but as i said as i used to say to my vip student when price is in all-time territory always be careful okay price may reverse for no good reason a lot of people might panic and take profit from these levels and as you can see on the weekly we didn't even close above this opening price so that is a uh, kind of challenging okay why is price not closing does price want to come back down those are the questions you ask yourself and then we have a fresh weekly level here which i like okay if price can give me a very nice pullback sharply i will, I will simply take a buy from here remember this buy now is an intraday not swing i will not be swinging that much i will do it with caution right so on the daily on the daily so that is my sweet spot here my price gets to this zone this is my buy zone so if you want to be part of the vip group trading room where i give analysis just like this but in depth the reason why i'm looking at here i go in depth click the link in the description and join the vip click the link in the description and join the vip trading room all right so us 30 same thing us 30 same thing um we are the weekly in this case we are trading above that level okay in that case market is still pushing higher this kind of trade are very tricky okay you take it intraday at the end of the day close it or price may come back down so on the daily how can we join this trade simple for me if price comes to this zone this is where i'll be looking at joining the party okay i'll be joining the party from here to continue pushing price to the upside um then let's take a look at pounds jpy so on pounds jpy monthly you can see this push here they didn't come up from any opening price that i can see okay and if it does they have multiple touches already so the monthly is bullish starting from this zone here okay and all this why we went up profit taking profit taking price continue to push higher so that signals uh, a weakness in japanese yen right so on the weekly we also have that push okay to the upside so we look for bullish trades then like you can see my analysis here during the vip group so the daily time frame now just because i i like a place doesn't mean it will play out 100 percent but most times it does the main thing is for you to avoid losses okay so i'll be looking at the opening price around there for a scalping opportunity if you trade lower then i will look for a better one for an intraday and the potential swing trade idea now the last one here oh uh, uh let's look at bitcoin because this is the bitcoin season <laughs> you can see a bullish push to the upside uh looking at your left here we are closing above the opening price which is a good thing and then that signals that we want to push higher okay so on the daily i like this this is my best setup here my price comes in here you buy that is my setup for yeah upward another second best is this fresh level created okay when price trade in there 
you can develop your own strategy to look for a bullish push to the upside remember the obstacles here yeah? all right these are the roadblocks preventing this bullish push so when i mention obstacle roadblocks it simply means preventing the bullish or bearish move okay so this is what we have then ultimately we go to euro usd euro usd we have the monthly time frame as i said the monthly time frame would not give you um, any new information instead you are going to work with the old information which simply tells you of a bullish trade okay we started from here all right and we're closing above resistant simply tells us that the market is still bullish on the monthly so what happens now is this we have this level which price traded to and rejected not ended yet so let's look at the weekly so on the weekly we have a rejection in here even though we have this level i'll still be favoring the bullish move so number one we have a fresh level and number two on the daily we have this so for me we don't have any fresh level here we might see a push down to 1.0776 then from there i will take my entry all right and the sponsored move will, is simply from this rejection here so on the four hour you can see price may trade lower into that region so if it does that i will simply look for a bullish trade now some will ask what about scalping this is where you will scalp okay when price trading here you can scalp for 10 pips trade 5 to 10 pips trade okay remember don't hold it till eternity your price might be heading down to this point so if you like this quick weekly analysis give me a thumbs up share this video subscribe because a lot of people you view but you don't subscribe subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in next week analysis